As you can see in this video, the Beretta, the M9, the, the 92FS, does not like to be fired dry. Um, it is not a maintenance-free gun. It does need to be oiled, um, and I'll show you what happens when you don't oil it. Okay. We'll just take this down as far as the field stripping. That's the, the manual says as far as to go for normal cleaning. We'll see if that's going to be detailed enough. We'll determine once we get inside of it if that's going to be good enough for now. Well, let's go ahead and field strip this and we'll see what needs to be cleaned. And we're empty. We'll push this little, this little take down button here on the right side. We'll take down the lever. Slide moves forward. Spring out, drop the barrel out, and it's pretty dirty. Um, and it's also dry, so let's hope just a, a good cleaning and a oiling gets this thing back to where we need it to be. For cleaning in the rails and stuff, I like to take a these are little um, was it forceps? Take a cleaning patch. I'll just clamp it in there, and I just get a little. Hops number nine, and I've never really found anything much better than hops number nine. Anyway, that way I can clean inside the rails and kind of mop them. How about that? Took that didn't take long to get that white patch real dirty, but that way we clean inside the rails, and then we can also take a, a clean patch now and wipe them out. Fold that over, lock that in place. Kind of handy. Has little forceps. Maybe we'll keep wiping it out until it until it comes clean. in a new one keep on cleaning some of the key points we really want to be sure that you do oil you're going to be in these in these guide rails where the slide moves back and forth and you can see there's some silvery spots you can see the shine when you once you get your gun opened up you can see where to apply the oil hit all those wear spots but be sure to get those guide rails you have your your uh your your, your guide rod and your spring that moves back and forth put a little bit of oil on that guide rod when you get to the barrel, you'll see this lug, this barrel lug pivots. There's a pivot point. There's also a friction point back here. And be sure to get on these two arms on top of the lug. They're going to slide within the, that uh, frame rail, or I'm sorry, within the slide rail. And then also put a little bit of lubricant on the barrel itself because that moves within the slide. Those are the key points. Once you get the gun apart, look and see where there's ever wear. Add a little bit more oil if you, if you need to. You can always wipe off the excess. Now that I got it all cleaned up, I'm just going to oil those spots where you see that metal to metal wear. You see the, see the shiny spots? That's where you're getting some wear and that's where you're getting some contact. And that's where I'm going to apply just a little bit of gun oil. Got her all back together. She's cleaned and loose. That slide's moving much, much better than it did before. Let's take it to the range and see how she does.